Hey, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I've got another toy palette from Via Trading. Let's see what we got inside. Okay, so we've got this toy palette, but before we get into it, this is exactly how it came off the truck. And if you haven't seen my Via Trading palette delivery, check it out. I'll try to tag it to the end of this video. But let me give you the specs on this one in particular. This is a Via Trading palette of assorted toys, and they're supposed to be customer returns and shelf pulls. Paid $450 for it. Um, and I averaged $122 of shipping. I ordered four pallets at once, plus a case of makeup. And so that averaged out to be $122 per pallet. Um, $572 is my total. I would put per item number, but I have no idea how many items in it. So let's go ahead and just get in it. And let's see what kind of condition we find the stuff in, how much we think is gonna go to Amazon, eBay, all of those things. So this is what we've got. And so I'll kind of go through each and every item and decide and kind of give you um, specifications on whether or not I think I'm going to sell it on Amazon or eBay. So we've got a Bop It game. This looks in great condition. We'll scan it, see if we can get it to sell on Amazon. Does, does it work? Let's see. I don't know how to turn it on. Bop It. Bop It to start. There we it go. It works. Yes. So it's now it's, right. now it's going to give us background music all right this is a bunch of balloons slingshot perfect time of the year to sell this because it is springtime and so water items are going to be great it looks like we've got a bunch of those in there oh i used to have one of these when i was a kid please comment below if you had an etch a sketch when you were a kid do you remember these I loved these. All right, I'm going to stop playing with it. But if you had one of these when you were a kid, let me know. I want to know. I used to have one. I, it's one of my favorite toys. All right, we've got a broken shopping cart. Yes. Minnie Mouse. It's missing all the wheels. This is broken. No, it's missing three. Three, you're right, it has one wheel. All right, but this is all broken in the bottom, but the toys are still okay. So this might be something where I'll take some of the Minnie Mouse toys and put um, in some of my mystery boxes, but if they're just cheapo cardboard ones, I'm just gonna throw it away. So don't worry, you don't get cheap stuff. So broken stuff is gonna go under the table unless I run out of room. Here's some more random froggy. Yeah. He's cute. Um, and even has a barcode on him. Here's some more of these bunch of balloon slingshots. So we're gonna put those over here. Here's another bunch of balloon slingshot, but this one's in a little bit rougher condition, this box. So this is probably not one I would send to Amazon, um, but it may be one since the actual apparatus is fine that I keep for my kids or that I put on my um, hookedonpickin.com store. But like this box is definitely Amazon worthy. Look at that. So we'll definitely keep that for Amazon. So this one I'm gonna stick under the table as a possible posting on another website. All right, here is Lego Friends. Looks like the box has been opened, but let's see if everything is still sealed. It doesn't look like it, because I see this. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's been opened. yeah, it's been opened. So this is going to go in our Lego lot if we want to turn around here. I've got a pile of Legos that I'm sorting, and then I have actually have links on eBay for 100 pieces of Lego per color. So they're $9.75, I think, right now. Um, so if you're interested in buying Legos, 100 pieces at a time, go ahead and check those out. So let's see what else we got. Nerf guns. It's a big old Nerf gun. Look at that. Well, it looks like the box has been opened, but hold on. I don't know if it's wedged in here or if it's actually it's got the bullets still in its original case i don't oh this is the yeah it's a magazine basically for all the bullets there's all your bullets still sealed so this might be a like new condition so i will look that up i don't think i can sell nerf on ebay looks like it's just been opened and that's all um but it looks like everything else is still included it's like that 
It's got a salvage sticker on it. What's that mean, Heather? Uh, the salvage just means the store doesn't want it anymore. So whether it got returned by the customer like this and it's been broken open, um, but it looks like the condition of the item is still in like new condition. So this would be something that if I could sell it on Amazon, I would list it as like new, making sure that I check all of the contents and making sure there's nothing missing um, and, and that everything is in workable condition. Um, but that will probably be just like an eBay or a hookedonpicking.com item. Okay, here's this one. Looks like uh, factory steeled tape on this one. Box is boogered up, but it looks like it's brand new. Well, nope, this is a regular piece of tape and the factory seals has been broken. So this will also get dispersed out into our Lego sets. We are going to also make a Lego set that has accessories like a bunch of people and you know things like that. So here's a basketball that's been used. So this will probably just get donated to maybe my kid's school or, um, I mean, it's been used just simply because I can tell it's got a little wear or we'll keep it ourselves for our own basketball hoop. All right, and let's see. Unicorns. This is from the Lego movie. It's like the unicorn Lego kitty person, but totally clean. It even has the Lego tag on it. So that will probably be a good sale. We got bike helmets. Uh, Looks like it's got some shelf wear on it and the Schwinn is coming off. So this is definitely not a resellable online. Neither is this um, because it's not in the original packaging. So these are all gonna go down here underneath the table for stuff that I can't sell on Amazon. Uh, this is a Melissa and Doug. Looks like it used to have a lot of beads in there and they're missing. And so this is definitely not resellable. I'm not super excited about the condition of these ones. I liked my last toy palette. I did pretty good with that, but this one is not making me happy. Uh, Genius kit, Osmo Genius kit, box is all messed up. So this is, I'll have to see if this works. If it does, it'll be on Hooked on Pick and Shopify at a discounted rate. Here is a bat. This one's an Easton bat. This one's in good condition. Mm -hmm. So that one's definitely new. So we'll put that on top of the table. Yeah, perfect time of the year. Um, just pieces of a toy box. That's worthless. All right. Um, I think this is, let me see, Nell the Princess Knight. I think this is a preschool cartoon. So this is in great condition. So, so far the two stuffed animals I've found are pretty good. Um, let's see, who's this guy? Creepy Santa. Bearded. Bearded. Creepy. Pirate. Pirate. I'm going to rob your house, Santa. Because he's already looks like a convict <laughs> with the stripey. All right. Okay. Here is a rival Nerf gun of some sort. Phantom corpse. It looks like it's been opened. Maybe. Okay, we'll check that one out. Let's see. A yellow dinosaur. It's kind of cute. Very needed. Very needed. Yellow dinosaurs. All right, let's see what else we got. Another Etch-A-Sketch. Yay! I'm curious to see how these novelty toys will go. I mean, they're still new, but they're a novelty to me. Broken packaging. Uh, ripped open Lego box. We'll have to see if the contents are all there, so we'll investigate that. I am not impressed with this box so far. It ain't over. It ain't over. A Star Wars fidget spinner. There's a bunch of them. Big money in the fidget spinner. Big money. Big it money might it spinner. might be worth something <laughs> with the fidget spinners. Big money in fidget spinners. Boy, that thing dropped, didn't it? Yeah. So we're gonna set these over here. Actually, if I get my phone, I'm gonna see if I can scan one of those fidget spinners and see if they're worth anything right now here on camera. So let's see. Open up my app. Turn the internet on. All right, let's scan away and see. All right, it's on there. There it is right there. Uh, there's none on there right now. And so, but I, it does mean that I could probably send it into the Amazon warehouse. So we price it at $100 a piece. $9 million is $9. really what I was $9. thinking. Nine million. I guess it was like four ninety nine. Probably. Something like that. So I may or may not send them that sell them that way. Um Toy Lots. 
Toy lots, yes. They'll probably end up in the toy lots. Mystery boxes is what she's talking about. Yes, mystery box toy lots. Check my Shopify, uh, my hookedonpicking.com store. I'll have the links in the description below. Uh, here's a Minnie Mouse cute preschool. This looks like it's brand new because it's still all tethered together. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Hover ball. It's like a hovering soccer ball. Little fish net for fishing. All right, what else we got? Ultimate baking something kit with a very boogered up box, but we'll see if the contents are all there and then I can always rebox it, sell it on hookedonpicking.com um, and make sure it has all of the contents in it. But, all right, little tykes. This? this is actually a decent box. Little tykes. Uh, golf set looks like for a preschooler. So this is actually a good box. Put that up here. Oh snap! <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of a game. Game board, circular peaches. So you got to try to fit a bunch of them in there. Circular that pieces or circular peaches? <laughs> circular pieces. I Can't speak like today. Pieces. All right, here's a Spider-Man. Looks good. Yeah, he does. So we're getting better as we go down. The dye brights. So it's so like you dye a shirt, tie dye set. Um, oh, here's one of these squishies. They're so weird. So squishy toy. His neck. He's he's about to be decapitated. So mm. throw that down at the bottom. Poor decapitated unicorn. Good night, baby. That looks actually in good condition. Mm -hmm. So that's not too bad. Baby in a box. Baby in a box. Here's another hover ball. What is that? Super hmm. Mario dartboard. Fling shot. And then we have a hoverboard, Super Mario coloring book. You wanted to look at something up here? Let's see. Smart sketcher. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's one of those blend in, uh, don't be caught. The, one of those. The chameleon. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. It says the chameleon. All is right. Is it a game? Yeah, it's a game. Yeah. Has it been open? I don't think so. That might be good. Mm hmm. Emoji Chia Pet. Mm. <laughs> says salvage because the store didn't want any more, but it looks like everything's still brand new in there. I'll make sure. Here's a play mat for cars. It's Paw Patrol, which is really popular, but um, it's definitely been opened, so that's not a resellable. It's a, is that a monkey or sloth? Sloth, sloth with a baby sloth. Rattle, rattle, so that's a cute one. All right, tabletop easel. For little preschoolers. Sure. Yeah. Giant. Oh, it's. I might have to keep this. This is giant Jenga. It's a ma massive Jenga. That's awesome. We'll have to see what that's worth. All right. And if you don't like giant Jenga, we have a mini one. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, what is this? Bullseye Playground. It's a big craft spring terrarium. So you can make a spring terrarium. All these little jars are spring terrariums and they each have their own barcode. So that's something that's possible sellable. Uh, let's see. Bumblebee, but he's kind of out of his packaging. All right, baby carrier for a baby doll. That looks brand new. Stuffed toy, another one. It's a poke Pokemon. It's a Pokemon. It's a Pokemon. 
All right, here's a foam softball or foam football, another hover ball, slimy galaxy goop. That actually, I listed the last shipment I sent in, I was able to send some of the goop in and believe it or not, it was worth it to send in. So I look up everything always. Fubbles, it's a bubble machine, I think. Here's uh, an infant toy. Mo molecules, kind of a building set. That looks brand new. We're slowly getting there. Magic 8-Ball, oh, all right. Will this palette make me money? Outlook is good. That's what it says, see? Outlook, good. Well, now we know. Yes, we know. We see, know. that the magic ape ball. Oh, my word. All right, we've got a bunch of figurines from Nemo, Disney, Nemo. And those are actually all in there. Packaging looks good on that one. And then, let's see, we have another one of these. I really hope these are worth money because I got a bunch of them. <laughs> It's a good time of the year, though. Yeah, it is. It's a perfect time to try to sell them. Here's a little baby Einstein toy. That one's in good shape. Ooh, it even has, um, it's electronic somehow. So I wonder if it lights up or it's like a nightlight or something. The kids. Yeah, when they do it wrong, it's <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. Kinetic sand. That's actually not been opened. Um, here's a Lego set. Poor box. So we'll see if the whole thing is together. I will sell Legos on my own store if they're, the whole thing is there. Maybe the box is just damaged, but I usually try to stick to really nice stuff. Here's another hover ball. Now this Lego set, sealed, tape is sealed. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna show you. This tape always has a little black mark on it and this is totally sealed. So this one is a resellable one, yes. And it's Star Wars, which is kind of nice. So that one should be probably a $10 bill, I would guess, on that one. So we're slowly making a big pile here. Here's a Friends one. Same thing. Okay, so this one, uh, it's totally sealed, never been opened because of the sealed tape, um, but the box is all smushed. So this would be one that I'd probably just sell on my own Shopify store, um, hooked on picking. So it's there, but I don't want to um, attempt to send that into attempt to send it into Amazon and have it be um, rejected by the Amazon. But what is this? I have won the wrestling match. The I am the champion. The random toy sticking in a is it? That's amazing. <laughs> it says oddities. It's describing me. I'm the champion of oddities. Is what it is. That's actually really cool. I know. All right. So this is all opened, but this is a cool belt. All right. All righty here. Let's see. Fun little plastic balls that you would put in like a kid's toy. So those are nice. Let's see. What are these? Ra ra ra! I have no idea. I think it's like streamer. Like, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Here is. Hold on. <laughs> Unicorn. That's actually pretty nice. See anything wrong with it? Oh, it's one of these creepy ones. Watch. I think it's. <laughs> these are so creepy. They're so weird. It is. The box is really messed up. So those are called feisty creatures. So that's something I'll probably list on eBay just because of the damage to the box. All right. Fun little, I think these are like pet toys. Um, here's a remote control car, but it's totally been opened. Um, this looks like it's in good condition. Not too bad. Is that Barbie? Um, this is not now streaming on Netflix. Mm -hmm. So it's Perfect. DreamWorks Spirit, riding free. Oh, hey, look, look, <laughs> they light up. Cool. Sorry, I was distracted by the shiny lights. All right, um, sheep. Uh, Laugh Out Louds, 
LOL Surprise Pets. That's been unopened, so that's brand new. Here's a Barbie. Box is all mashed. What is it? And it's terrible. Because <laughs> it's clearly been opened and then just randomly thrown back into the box. Probably take that out of the package, set it all out on the table, and put it on eBay. Yeah, yeah. Take it out of the package and picture it for eBay. Perfect idea. Don't want it to fall. All right. Hey, I found a wheel. You found a wheel? Yep, there's a pink wheel, purple wheel. Yes. Yeah. Yes. For our broken uh, for our broken baby stuff. Baby. All right, bounce it, stretch it, rainbow putty. Let's see. Then we've got. Remember the koosh balls when you were younger? What is this like novelty box? All right. So this is like a indoor outdoor fun. Here's another LOL. Looks like the packaging is coming off of it, but it's not been opened. Um, so we'll throw those over here. Slowly getting there. Hula hoop. Something is making noise. Look, I can hula hoop like this. Aren't I amazing? amazing. It's amazing. All right. Leapfrog. This has been open and resealed, so we're going to check and see if all the contents are there and see if it works. Um, so here's another. Here's a train missing the front part of the train. Believe it or not, it doesn't look like a lot, but there is a way to make money out of some of this. Oh, this is a cute little T-Rex. Not Triceratops, not T-Rex. So, so far I like the stuffed animals and they're good size stuffed animals. Those actually sell really well. So let's see, this is Slime Jojo. Um, this has totally been opened, so it's probably missing a bunch of pieces. Put it in the trash pile. Here is Barbie. Um, been opened. We'll investigate and see. It looks like it works though. It's a calculator, like a cashier set. So let's see what else. Torpedoes, mm. smash marines, monster okay. mayhem. They're like nunchuck flotation submarines. <laughs> look at the, okay, just look at the kid's face. He is freaking out in that picture. Yeah. He's about to go crazy on somebody with those you things. Cut the box. Huh? Did you go ahead and cut the box and get into a little better? Oh, this one? Oh, yes. <laughs> I find the box cutter. There it is. All right. So far, we're getting a good load. Stuff on the top of the table. I think we have a shot to sell some Amazon. Yeah, possibly. What are you saying over there without a microphone? So stuff on the top of the table will be able to sell well and in Amazon. And then some of the stuff on the floor is definitely kind of a lost cause or we'll do some investigating and maybe lot it up for a good eBay lot. All right, I think we can get into the box now. make a ramp for myself here. I see something that says Fortnite on it. Fortnite nerf. Well, yeah. It's a Fortnite flip nerf gun. We'll have to see if that's all intact. Here is a non-broken shopping cart. That one's in decent shape. Um, this is a little, he's missing the figurine in this one. Heavy duty trunk organizer. That's actually still sealed and in good condition. Sugar bombs, that's brand new. Junior Vampirina, that's brand new. So these are options for resellable and in Amazon. This is Nerf gear. It's a shield. The 
that has a little gun in it. So box is a little bit messed up, but I think all the contents are there. All right, this is out of its original packaging, but a nice toy overall. Okay. Broken now. Broken now. So comes with bubbles and stuff. So these these little bubbles and jewelry things would be things that I would make a nice set and maybe do a lot. Manhattan Toy Company. So this one, the box is all messed up, but I bet the contents are fine. So I'll we'll open it and investigate it. Dr drinking buddies. And they hang on the side of your cup. What? That's creepy. That is weird. It is. Somebody made a million dollars. Oh my word, like that and fidget spinners. Why didn't I invent fidget spinners? Okay, this is a Pokeball clip, but it's missing some pieces. Um, this is a on the table portable basketball hoop. Here's an actual basketball. Little basketball. The basket would have bounced better if I wouldn't have tried to bounce it on cardboard. All right. It is totally full. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right. Army helmet. A little mini soccer ball. So I had some other soccer balls in my last batch that went into my mystery boxes. So this is a massive monster mayhem inflatable. Oh, look at the picture. You wear the helmet thing in the big hands. Awesome. Yep. Hover ball. This looks like chalk with a little chalk holder so you don't get your hands dirty. <laughs> that's for the kid that's like, I don't want to touch dirt. All right. This is Jelly Belly scented bubbles. And it's cha shaped like a jelly bean. Like a jelly belly. Like a jelly belly. All right. Here's another one of those Barbie checkout machines. Um, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. All right. Okay. Lego Harry Potter. Um, box has been smashed, but it looks like it was originally sealed. So we'll have to see if all the pieces are there. Um, Incredibles 2 toy. Deck Quayotes. It's a ring toss game. Quayotes? I don't know. How do you say that? Somebody phonetically spell it for me. I'm having issues. All right. This is a sharper. This is a drone. Sure is. Yeah, it's probably been smushed. I'll check it out and see if it works. There was a soccer ball that rolled that way. I'm not going to go chase it, but that one actually is a nice soccer ball. What is this? One of those little inflatable ball things. Yeti, set, go. That actually looks like it's totally sealed and the box looks nice. So this is definitely re resellable. Um, a bunch of Matchbox cars, but... The box has been opened, so I might be able to just take these out and put them in some um, mystery toy lots. This is um, wooden charm and tassel kits. That actually is totally intact and brand new. What are these? Oh, ladybugs, you can paint. It's a bunch of them. Here's a snail. A bumblebee. Here's some more of those creative kits. Here's another Yeti set go in good condition. So I'm getting some good stuff down in the bottom here. Uh, this one's kind of crushed. Spider-Man sets in good condition. Make your own sand. Um, here's a little Make your own sand. I am not sure. 
Oh. It's a rabbit. It is a rabbit. And you can pull it around and it's got a carrot on the end of the string. Fun little baby toy. All right, little doll. It's been opened, but looks like everything's inside. All right, what is this? A horse with a little doll that has no clothes. Some of these things, I, you may be discouraged, but some of these things would be great um, garage sale items and they'll go for decent money. You could sell, you know, like the, the big tall horse, even though the doll has no clothes, you could sell the horse for about five bucks at a garage sale. And so you can make up money. Here's another Jelly Belly Bubbles. So those probably will sell. Here are some more paints things, flour, a snail. There's a Melissa and Doug. Anything you see Melissa and Doug that's in good condition, I'm going to put on my hookedonpicking.com website because I know I'm restricted in this particular brand on Amazon. But here's a water wow. Seek and find water activities. Um, Jurassic World Valentine's. Um, oven bake clay. That's kind of cool. So you can sculpt things and bake it in the oven. Let's see what else we got in here. Here's a game called Code Names. Um, here's a toy from Moana. Let's see what else we got here. Another toy. Wooden circus play set. What's this big thing? Flips fish. Um, oh, it's a game where you toss things into the big fish's mouth. So a good yard game. Ooh, that's cool. Look at that. Imagine a text. Yeah. It's a Minecraft sheep. Mm -hmm. That's cool. All right, we've got this weird elf looking reindeer, reindeer moose thing reindeer moose, moose cow. cow thingy person. <laughs> person moose cow reindeer thingy all right oh look i got more quicksand i think it was make your own quicksand not make oh. your own sand that makes a lot more sense here's uh moon mud moon i think it mud. i think is it solid or liquid is what it says then here's more of the quicksands. Here's some more Star Wars fidget spinners, but they're different. They're the Darth Maul ones, Darth Vader ones. More moon mud in quicksand. Slimy fruit stations. I think this is part of the Minnie Mouse uh, cart. Um, here's a Stormtrooper. See the difference in the fidget spinners? For all you fidget spinner collectors. Yep, there. there you go. Star Wars. Gotta have those. Some more moon mud. Here is Legends Infinite series. Marvel. Marvel. Here's one of them creepy. Arr. Crazy errands of these. These are really nice um, craft sets. So I'm definitely going to list those on my um, hooked on pick and start. Our generation is the target version of the knockoff brand of American Girl dolls. My life is the Walmart ones, and so these are clothes that would fit those 18 inch dolls. Um, here is more craft items, more sand, some silly string, a two by two Rubik's Cube instead of a, what are they normally, what, like three by three? So. Here's that little Rubik's cube. A grow uni grow your own unicorn. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Um, here is a little toy. Here's some Legos. This has been opened, so we're gonna set that over there. More mood sand. Here's some more Rubik. Another Rubik's cube. Here's a little stormtrooper stuffed toy. Here's a Pokemon Lego set that's not been opened. It's mega block. Mega, yeah, you're right. Mega blocks. Sorry. Piece of a, here's a Minecraft Lego set. That one's not been opened. Good. Okay, let me move over here. <laughs> it's 
trying to get to the other side. This is Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's, oh, it's just the box to store all your Poke cards. And then it comes with a couple of decks, which it's supposed to. So it's a Pokemon basically card box. So that's resellable. Um, some little beaded grow your own toy things. Bubblies, squishy toy. Corn. Carrots. And mermaid. <laughs> uh, kinetic sand. Here's another etch a sketch. Here's some more paint your own uh, butterflies. Deck of cards. Deck of cards. Um, PJ Masks watch. Quicksand. This is a sparkly box of some sort. Yeah, nope. Oh, it's the yeah, nope game with a sequence cover on it. Here's another paint your own. What? Something is talking. Oh, the PJ. This works. All right. Uh, oh, this is a, um, what do we call it? Skip ball, like skip it. Skip it. And it lights up. And another Rubik's cube. That's a two by two. I'm not sure what this is. This is a, if you don't like your neighbor, you beat them. No, you don't. Um, little, don't beat your neighbor. Love your neighbor. Hey, this is cool. My missing tooth. You can color it and it's a little tooth fairy pillow. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> well, you can color it. This is to help all moms in the world yeah. so that you don't have to go hunting for some tiny little baggie. All right. All right. Here's Meg Power Rangers toy. Another Power Rangers toy. Uh, a Bakugan. Those were really popular back in the day. Here's another Bakugan. My son was into those way back in the day. Here's another moose unicorn. It's Christmas elf. All right. Reindeer. Moon mud. Here's the box for the decks of cards. <laughs> and then a police toy, which is a baby toy. Um, Valentine's. No, this is the best thing in the box. Mm. It's literally called Magic Poo. <laughs> and that sums up this box. And then and that, oh no. And then you've got <laughs> Maggot Madness. And that would be... We found poo at the end of the box. Yes. The bottom of the box was poo. Maggots and poo. Maggots and poo. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, this is what I got in my Via Trading toy lot that I paid $572 for my maggot poo. <laughs> Remember in the end, Jesus wins. Don't know how to get to Via Trading? Click the link in the description below. Via Trading was also awesome enough to create a coupon code for my viewers only. Use the coupon code HOOKED, shown in the description below. This code will give you $50 off your very first order of $250 or more from Via Trading. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.